three. Here at the Kelvin uh, College Volleyball post-match press conference after the MIAA Tournament Championship final, Kelvin a three-set winner over Hope College, and we're joined by uh, Kelvin's three seniors and also junior Laura Danhoff. The seniors are Maggie Camp on the far left, Rachel Lubin here to the right of Coach Warners, and to the far right, Jamie Coyman. Um, Coach Warners, could you first uh, just give an opening statement on this match? Um, certainly a hard-fought one. Um, Hope pushed you to the limit in those last couple of sets, and uh, you guys found a way to win it in three. Um, what did you see out there? I thought it was a pretty evenly played match. I thought each team had aggressive serving, and I think we both took each other out of system at, at different points of the match. Um, I think maybe we were a little more consistent. I thought our defense was phenomenal tonight on all of the plays where you could have thought that the ball was going to drop and we just seemed to find a way to keep it up. So I was really happy with that we weathered the storm, so to speak, and that we stayed tough mentally and stayed, we stayed engaged. Uh, all right, Laura, can you talk a little bit about the, the end of the second set? They were up 23-22. They had all this momentum come and look to even the match. You, you guys had a couple points going in your favor and then you hit the, the ace uh, to cap it off. What was, can you describe that sequence for me? And what, what did Hope do so well to get, it, to get that momentum and how were you guys able to stop it? Um, yeah, I think we, we definitely came back from a deficit there. And, um, but we knew the whole time that we needed to just play our game, steady Eddie, like Coach says, and chip away one point at a time. And, you know, they, they were getting some blocks on us. They were, I mean, they played really well tonight. Um, they, yeah, credit to them for that, that run. Um, and then, yeah, I just tried to put it in. It almost went out very close, but um, it landed in, so <laughs> that's how that went. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, how exciting was that turn of events there when it looked to be, you know, maybe a 1-1 going to distance matched all of a sudden? You know, the wind's out of their sails immediately, and it's 2 nothing. Yeah, are you talking about after the second set? That's the second set, yeah. Oh, okay, and that's when you got the ace. Mm -hmm. um, I would actually like to get a stat on how many games have ended with Laura's aces, and I, that's my favorite way to end a game. Um, but yeah, that was really huge. I, You could kind of see the way that the rotations were going, um, and like right when we started to pick back momentum up when we were down. Um, so I was pretty confident that whole time that um, Danny would go in there and do her do her thing. So it was awesome. Yeah, Hope really pushed back on us in the second set, and it was it was really um, it was great to get that win. All right, Jamie and Rachel, can you talk a little bit about how you guys were able to handle um, Hope's hitters defensively, both you know both at the net and and the back? They obviously have some great hitters, and for three matches, you guys have really kind of taken uh, the big the big run away from them. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we like to, we practice um, their tendencies, so we kind of know, have an idea of what they do going in, um, and then we just do our best to stay stopped and read the hitters. Um, we as a front row just do our best to try and get a block up and communicate up there, but um, our defense really just killed it tonight and kept getting balls up every time and it was really nice to be able to like depend on them and they would put it there just for Jenna to set us and the hitters could then work with it. It was really good. Amber, obviously the last two national champions have come from this conference and three of the last uh, do, you know, five years. Just talk about now we're turning into the NCAA tournament time and that to help prepare for where now, you know, you go on the tightrope with the, uh, you know, one match and, you know, that kind of mentality going to the national term. What does this team learn about itself for this term? I think this team is unique in the fact that we have played a really tough schedule, like Coach was saying, um, especially our tournament at Emory. Um, I think we learned a lot about ourselves and how we handle pressure situations, what the personality of the group is, whether certain players need to stay calm and certain players need to get more amped up. Um, so just knowing each other, I think, has been something that we've come a long way with. And then also I think um, with multiple like small injuries on the team, we've had players out certain games and um, other people need to step up and fill in positions. So I think everyone has had big moments and been um, relied on in those. So I think there's not one person on our team where we can look at them and be like, we don't trust you to put the ball in. 
and um, to want the ball in the big moments. Any other questions? Okay, very good. Thank you so much.